hey, I'm married to one of those people who immediately turns the thermostat down. So it's like freezing when I wake up. So all sweatshirts all the time. Um, it's been a, it's just been so nice to talk about all the different ways of living here this week. Your comments have been so beautiful. There's a lot of richness to just taking a second to say like, what, what kind of language do we have? We have language that is anthropological, right? Language like liminality, language that is psychological, categories like fear and uncertainty, the space that creates. And I don't know, there, there's a lot of beautiful comments too about how we also have language inspired by faith to live here. And that one of the categories we have is the category of lament. What does it, what kind of language does our faith give us to say that we understand the tragedy of living in a world of not yet, in which there is such a thing as pediatric oncology and suicide rails that we that we understand that like at the heart of the human condition is like it requires it requires courage to live here to see things clearly to face the world with honesty and i will just say like just speaking kind of frankly I, I want that to be something that we can build up in communities of faith. I have, I've experienced a lot of, um, of trying to use faith as a way to escape the unpleasantness. Like just another way of saying like, well, um, all the good things are coming, right? So heaven, uh, a world in eternity with God without end, like all the good things and therefore, or um, saying that I'm just kind of pretending that scripture doesn't actually give us the very language to complain, which is what lament says and performs. So like, if you wanna see people deeply either ragey or complainy or angry or sad, or like the whole gamut of emotion, just like try the Psalms. The Psalm, like a nice one to start with is Psalm 13 and like, comes in with a bang. It's like, how long, oh Lord? How long will you turn your face away from me? Like it is like engines. <laughs> it's full speed ahead. And we need that. Like we need the ability to say, rooted in love, that this is not, we can't live like this forever that we need God to save us and that we need other people to come to the rescue. Like one of the, the stories of scripture is, is like, yes, that it's a story fundamentally about God drawing us to God's self, but it's also a story of like the human communities that we need the institutions and the people that we need to like live like this, to grow like this, to not feel abandoned and afraid even as the world comes apart. That's why we're given community. That's why we're given church. That's why we're given like, we need to be rescued by God and by each other. So I like lament. I like that it gives us a minute, a breather to say that this is the not yet and I don't have to act thrilled about it just to be faithful. That it can, that faith can also be, I hope, a language of profound honesty. So, thank you to all the people I see just like in your comment section, just you are, uh, you're living with tremendous courage. It is hard, it is hard to be here right now and you're doing it with love. So thank you. I find that deeply inspiring. And it feels good to know that we can shape and make language that is useful as we try to figure out like how to be human here. So bless you.
I hope it is a beautiful, terrible Thursday in which you know that like your, your lament is also deeply faithful. <laughs>